Hello everyone, welcome to Choco Travel Channel. I just bought this new DJI Mini 2 Aerial camera bundle from Costco last week. Today, I'm going to unbox it with you together. I will also share with you my opinion on whether this bundle is worth purchasing and whether there are any additional accessories that I would recommend to complement this bundle. Please be sure to stay till the end of my video as I will also do a test flight from my backyard. Before we start unboxing, I want to give you a quick introduction of my experience using my drone. If you have watched my video before, you may have seen some video clips taken by my drone. I got my first drone in September 2019. It was a DJI Mavic Air. But it was no longer in production as it was replaced by newer Mavic Air 2 and Mavic Air 2S. I was super happy with my Mavic Air as I've taken quite a few videos that I really liked. And this video is gonna be my first one talking about the equipments and applications that I use to shoot my YouTube video. Stay tuned! Unfortunately, during the summer I was in Maui, my drone landed in the sea. I tried everything I can and googled the internet, but still couldn't save it. This video was the last few seconds before my drone was dead. It was a sad story. Maybe next time I'll create a separate video just talking about this experience. Anyway, I'm a drone beginner. After that, I hadn't purchased any drones yet and have been waiting for the Black Friday to get a great deal. Last week, I was shopping at Costco and surprisingly find this good deal. This DJI Mini 2 Aerial Camera Bundle is only $439. As you may know, the official DJI Mini 2, which only includes the drone aircraft, a remote controller, and one battery would cost $449. So this is a great deal. I bought it without any hesitation. Let's unbox it. Here's the DJI Mini 2. It includes an SD card, extra battery, and a bag. It's ultralight, only 249 grams. The FAA requires you to register for an identification number for drones that weigh at least 250 grams, so you can get over it. It has a 31 minute flight time per battery. It has a 31 minute flight time, 10 km transmission, and it supports ultra clear 4K videos and level 5 wind resistance. It also has intelligent modes with quick shots and a panorama mode. It's very neat. Here's the aircraft, and it seems all the accessories have been well packed in this bag. I'm gonna unclip it and take the drone out. I'm gonna take off these stickers and unfold the propellers. Oh, this seems a big difference from the DJI Mavic Air. 
because every time before I fly my drone, I have to reassemble the propellers. This one, the propellers are always attached and folded, so it will be much more convenient. There are instructions that how you can twist this to unfold it. Oh wow, it's really small, just at its name. It's a very cute mini drone. Let's get to the back now. This is the same with the bag from the official DJI. Let me open this box. Oh! It contains a battery and some USB-C cables. Oh, nice! These are spare propellers with screws and a mini screwdriver. Let me open this side pocket. Oh, just some padding papers. You can put some batteries and uh, accessories inside this. That's pretty handy. Here's the DJI brand tag. This is the controller. And quick start guide. Another cable. Wow, this looks much more modern than the original one I had with Mavic Air. Cool, I unboxed everything. Here's the accessories, batteries, cables, controller, the drawer, and the bag. Cool, we unboxed everything. So the question is, is it worth it? To answer this question, we need to compare it with the two official DJI packages, which are the DJI Mini 2 and DJI Fly More Combos. The specs from the official DJI website for the DJI Mini 2, it includes the bare minimum stuff for you to fly your drone but it's not convenient as you would probably need to find an appropriate sized bag to hold them. And you only got one better. These are what will be included in the Fly More couple. The highlighted are what are more compared with the previous aircraft only version. You have three batteries now compared with only one. For me, this is probably an overkill, as I rarely need to find my drone for more than one hour. The combo also includes a propeller holder to make sure the propellers can be safely stored. 
The two-way charging hub is really a time saver, which allows you to charge all your batteries and remote controller together. Last, from the DJI Mini 2 Aerial Camera Bundle. Compared with the DJI Mini 2 aircraft-only version, it includes an extra battery, a mini bag, and a 32GB micro SD card. I'm so glad that this bundle has the battery and mini bag. Otherwise, I would probably purchase them if I only have the aircraft-only version. The 32GB micro SD card is probably not useful to me as I already have many other micro SD cards with larger memory. So overall, you get around $100 additional value from this bundle compared with the official DJI Mini 2 package, and its price is even $10 cheaper. So this definitely sounds a great deal. But is this bundle enough? For me, I would recommend purchasing these two things, which are the propeller holder and the two-way charging hub. The propeller holder would ensure that I don't break my propellers accidentally during assembling or disassembling. And the two-way charger would really save me a lot of time when I need to charge both batteries as well as the remote controller. I purchased these two from Amazon. They cost $13.90 and $39 each. I have also copied the links of these two accessories from Amazon in case you would like to purchase them as well. In total, my new DJI Mini 2 Aerial Camera Bundle plus accessories cost around $492, which is really more than $100 savings compared with the Fly More Combo. And it includes everything I need. I'm super happy with this purchase and cannot wait to fly it. It took me some time to pack everything back up in the bag. As you can see, the bag is much smaller but a bit ugly compared to the Mavic Air 2 bag I used to use. I think I probably will continue to use this bag. Secondly, let me take out the drone. You see, it's a bit hard to take it out because like, its capacity is really, really small. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. I'm super happy that I got the propeller holder and the propellers themselves are super delicate. The holder can keep them safe. This bag is not the official Mini 2 bag, but the Mini 1 bag. Last but not least, the controller looks so much cooler. Let me take out the handles from the bottom, and you can assemble it like this. It looks a lot like the gaming controllers I got from Switch and PS4. This is the phone holder. Alright, let's go to my backyard to do a test flight. Do you also have a drone? Which version of drone do you use? Any other drone deals you would like to recommend? Please leave comments below. If you find this video useful, please like it to help promote it. This is the first time I talk about the equipment that I use to shoot my YouTube videos. Stay tuned, as I will probably share more tips about equipment and applications that I use in my future videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I use my channel to share my travel experiences, hotel reviews, and so on. 
please subscribe to my channel if you want to get the latest updates about my travel journey. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.